Winning Olympic gold is a crowning moment in most sailors' careers. Although a medal of any colour is prestigious, nearly every Olympic athlete will tell you their ultimate goal is a gold medal. Winning a single gold medal is an impressive feat, but there are a few sailors who have gone on to win multiple gold medals. So let's run down the most successful sailors in Olympic history. These rankings are based on the Olympic ranking system. The minimum qualification criteria to be ranked in this video is to have two gold medals and at least one medal of another colour. So there are 16 athletes that meet this criteria. At number 16 we have Brazilian Marcelo Ferreira. He's won two golds and one bronze, making him the most successful Olympic crew. All the other sailors in the list are helms. Now, not to annoy any crews here, but does that indicate it's the helm that's primarily responsible for winning? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Supercrew Marcelo Ferreira won gold in the star class in the 1996 Olympics alongside his helm, Torben Grail. In the same partnership, he went on to win the bronze medal in the 2000 Olympics in Sydney and another gold in 2004 in Athens. Coming in at 15th on our list, we have Danish sailor Jesper Bank, who won two golds and a bronze in the sailing class. After a successful Olympic sailing career, he went on to compete in the 2003 and 2007 Louis Vuitton Cups, skippering Team Germany in the latter. Bank is now director and co-owner of Elstrom Sales, the company founded by Denmark's most successful Olympic sailor, Paul Elstrom. Next up in our list, we have Swedish sailor Tor Holm. He's the oldest sailor on our list, competing in his first Olympic Games in 1920. He went on to compete in a total of five Olympic Games, winning two golds and two bronzes. He won his 1928 Olympic bronze medal as crew, making him one of only two sailors on our list who have won medals as both helm and crew. The other being Paul Richard Hohansen, another Danish sailor who won gold in the 1976 and 1980 Olympics in the sailing class. He also won a silver medal in the Dragon class in the 1968 Olympics as crew. Interestingly, Jensen started his career working with Paul Elstrom. After 15 years of a company, he left to start his own company, Ho Jensen Design, which became the North Sales Scandinavia franchise. Next up, we have British sailor Ian Percy. Percy won his first gold in the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. This was the first gold medal Britain had won in the Finn class, kicking off a string of five subsequent gold medals for British sailors in the Finn class. In 2004, Percy jumped ship to the star class, finishing in sixth place. But after teaming up with new crew Andrew Simpson, he went on to win gold in the 2008 Olympics and silver in the 2012 Olympics. After his Olympic sailing career, Percy went on to run the Swedish America's Cup team Artemis Racing and is now coach of the Danish SailGP team. In 12th place in our rankings, we have the most successful American Olympic sailor, Mark Reynolds. Reynolds won gold in the 1992 and 2000 Olympics in the star class and also won a silver in 1988. Interestingly, he went on to own a sailmaking company, making him one of several sailors on the list to be involved in sailmaking. Next up, we have Britain's Hannah Mills, who is the only female sailor on this list and the most successful female Olympic sailor of all time. She won a silver medal at her home Olympics in 2012 and went on to better that in the 2016 and 2020 games. Hannah Mills is now involved with Ben Ainsley's Sail GP team and has indicated her interest in taking part in the first Women's America's Cup if those plans come to fruition. Coming in at 10th place on our list, we have Norwegian sailor Magnus Konau. He won medals in the 12 meter and 6 meter classes. He won two golds in the 1912 and 1920 Olympics, respectively and a silver in the 1936 Olympics in Kiel. Konau is one of only two sailors on this list to have competed in the Olympics over a span of 40 years. He competed between 1908 and 1948 in a total of six Olympic Games. Next up, we have the most successful Australian Olympic sailor of all time, Matt Belcher. In the 470 class, he won gold in the 2012 and 2020 Olympics. In 2016, he finished second behind the Croatian crew. Belcher has sailed with two crews in his Olympic sailing career, and interestingly, both of them have also won two gold medals each, although not always sailing with Belcher. Next up on our list, we have British sailor Rodney Patterson. He's also won two golds and a silver, making 8th to 12th place in this list effectively tied. Patterson won all his medals in the Flying Dutchman class and all with different crews. His two golds and a silver made him the most successful British Olympic sailor for a total of 32 years, 
until the one Ben Ainsley overtook him by winning goals in the 2008 Olympics. Nonetheless, he can still lay claim to being the most successful Scottish sailor in Olympic history. Now, Rodney Patterson was actually on track to win yet another medal had he attended the 1980 Games in Moscow. But those games were boycotted by the US and UK sailing teams due to Cold War tensions. Next up, we have Brazilian sailing legend Torben Grail. Grail is one of only three sailors to have won five Olympic medals. He won his first medal finishing in second place in the sailing class in 1984. In 1988, he swapped to the SAR class, finishing in third. He then went on to win gold in 1996 and 2004, as well as adding another bronze to his tally in the 2000 Sydney Games. In fifth place on our list, we have another Brazilian, the most successful Brazilian sailor in Olympic history, Robert Schreit. He's also won a total of five Olympic medals, competing in both the star and laser class. He's the most successful laser sailor of all time, winning the first laser gold medal in 1996 and the 2000 gold in Athens. He would have won gold in the 2000 Olympics had it not been for the presence of a one Ben Ainsley. Scheidt jumped ship to the star class for the 2008 Olympics, being again pipped to the post by the Brits. In the last ever star Olympics, Scheidt took home bronze. He then switched back to the laser class, making him one of the oldest sailors in the last games at age 48. Now let's take a look at our top three. But before we do that, if you've enjoyed the video so far, please leave it a thumbs up and press the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So for our top three, we actually have four sailors because third and fourth place are tied. So in joint third place, we have Valentin Mankin, who sailed for the Soviet Union, winning a total of four medals, three of which were gold. Mankin is the only sailor to have won gold in three different classes. He won gold in 1968 in the Finn class, 1972 in the Tempest class, and 1980 in the Star class. Alongside Mankin in joint third place, we have German Jochen Schumann, who won three goals, two in the Soling class and one in the Finn class. He also won a silver in the Soling class in the 2000 Sydney Games. After his successful Olympic sailing career, Schumann went on to participate in the 2003 and 2007 America's Cups as director for Swiss team Alinghi. So now for our top two. In second place, we have none other than Danish sailing legend Paul Elstrom. Elstrom has won four Olympic gold medals, three in the Finn class and one in the Firefly. For his achievements, Elstrom was named as Danish Sportsman of the Century. Elstrom is also known for his innovation in the sport. Elstrom created a new type of self-bailer, as well as the Elstrom life jacket, which was specifically designed and produced for active sailors. He also popularized the kicking strap, or Vang as it's called in the US, and popularised the technique of hiking or sitting out using toe straps. Two-time Danish gold medalist sailor Jesper Bank fittingly described Alstrom as follows. Before Paul, you would see competitors with pipes in their mouths and wearing skipper's caps. At that time, they certainly thought he was superhuman. So, to top out our list, we have none other than the greatest Olympic sailor and arguably the greatest sailor of all time, Ben Ainsley. Ainsley won his first Olympic medal in the 1996 Games in Atlanta, winning a silver at just 19 years old. In his second Olympics, Ainsley famously won gold by controversially match racing Brazilian Robert Scheidt in the last race. After that, Ainsley transferred to the Finn class, winning three consecutive gold medals between 2004 and 2012. Arguably, Ainsley also has the most successful career post-games of any sailor on this list. After his last Olympics in 2012, he went on to win the 2013 America's Cup on board Oracle Team USA, completing one of the biggest comebacks in sporting history. After that, he went on to found the British America's Cup team and later the British Sail GP team, both of which he helms for. So that completes our list. Let us know in the comments below who you think is the most successful Olympic sailor not to make this list. And you think that Sir Ben Ainsley is not only the most successful Olympic sailor of all time, but the most successful sailor of all time. As always, leave the video a thumbs up if you found it interesting and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. With that said, I hope to see you in the next video.